Hello everyone. So this is an informative video for the Windows user. I'm making this video after making the all the video of the blog app development series. Right now we are on a 14th video and we are now able to complete this whole series. I will upload two or three video on this series later point of time. So basically I'm getting a feedback regarding the MongoDB connection and MongoDB command. Uh, in other video, I showed the MongoDB connection and command for the Ubuntu user. So people are saying me that also make a generic video for Windows user. So I just wanted to tell you one thing that all the command of the MongoDB related thing are the same for the Windows user also. The only difference is that the Windows user have to up the service at a time of boot. Okay. For the Linux user, we are starting the MongoDB daemon while typing the command on the terminal. The command was the sudo service mongodb start. With help of that command, we are upping the MongoDB daemon. But for the Windows user, we do not have to up the MongoDB daemon manually. So I added three things. I added one extra video that Node.js installation on Windows 10 on this whole series. So this is not part of this series, but I added for the Windows user for the installation of the Node.js. I also added the MongoDB installation on Windows 10. So in this video, I explained everything that how you can install the MongoDB on the Windows 10 system and also you how you will configure the MongoDB on the Windows system. So in the Linux, what we are doing, we are just upping the mongodb daemon with help of the sudo service mongodb start but for the windows user at the time of setting up the mongodb i mean at the time of installing the mongodb on a windows 10 the mongodb daemon service will automatically start at the time of booting i mean when you start the windows system mongodb daemon will be up so if i will hit the control alt and delete and i will go on a task manager on the windows system then let me go below of this thing then i will show you that mongodb daemon is automatically running in a background just let me go there here you can see that mongodb database servers is automatically running in the background because we set up i mean we configured the mongodb installation process on a windows 10 that when we start the windows system then the automatically the win, uh, then the automatically the mongodb server will be up okay but for the linux system only we are not set up this thing that's why we are hitting the command sudo service mongodb start that command is only for the linux user that is not for the windows user so that's why you are getting the problem and the rest of the command will be the same for the windows user and a Linux user. So there was only one difference. The difference was the running the MongoDB daemon. Linux user had to start the MongoDB daemon manually while hitting the command sudo service MongoDB start. Windows user need not to bother about it because the MongoDB daemon is automatically started when you start a Windows system. And if you not configure that service, please follow this video. The MongoDB installation on Windows 10, where I showed you that how you can install the MongoDB and how you can set up the service. When you set up the service, then only your MongoDB daemon will start automatically at the time of starting the Windows system. So I will put this link of the MongoDB installation on Windows 10. Please follow this video to install the MongoDB and set up the service. Okay and uh, let me give you a uh, hands-on like uh, when you hit the windows and r or else just go on a search type the command prompt okay so i am just opening the command prompt and uh, if you remember in all the video while we type the mongo then we are entering inside the mongodb cli same will be applicable for the windows user also because there is no difference 
all the command of the MongoDB is the same for the Linux or same for the Windows. Okay, and uh, with help of show DBAs, we are listing out the all the databases are available. So here you can see we listed out the all the databases are available on our system with help of the same command. So please don't be worried that uh, the command for the Windows and command for the Linux will be the different. The command will be the same. The only difference was the upping the MongoDB daemon. Then rest of the thing will be the same. So still, if you have any query or any doubt related to the this series or you are finding any difficulty, please write on the comment. Okay. And also you can connect with me with the given link in the description. I added the Twitter link, I added the Instagram and Facebook link, all the link. Okay. And that's all from my side for this video. Thank you all. And I'm just asking you a help that try to share the video, like the video and also subscribe the channel and press on the notification bell icon then you will be updated related to the new videos. And uh, this is the new series called MongoDB basic series where I will upload video related to the basic command available for the MongoDB. You can find this series playlist on the description. And this is the new series called Node.js basic. You can find this link video up on the description as well. Thank you all.